advisory going into effect around noon and it could last to midnight. But as we watch this system get closer to us, it's not looking promising. And most of the activity is going to hang off to the south and to the east of us. We will still want you to make sure that you are using caution. Also, make sure that you are keeping an eye on those weather conditions this afternoon because it is still likely that it could impact us and we could still see a little bit of snow out there across the tri-state. Now, looking at your day part, we've got dry skies more clouds by the time we get to the lunch hour but heading into the afternoon we start to see that rain move through highs are going to be in the mid to upper 40s tonight still could be looking at that rainfall and that snow early on but by tonight and into tomorrow morning we are going to be looking out for conditions to dry out temperatures are going to be back in the low 30s and we will be below freezing but while the rain and snow is moving through i do want you to keep in mind we are supposed to be above freezing. So let's time it out for you. We've got dry skies for now. Clouds are likely to thicken, but you'll notice the rain staying primarily around the Ohio River into the south. Here we are around 6 o'clock. Still likely we could see some burst of snowfall mixing in with this rain because we are expected to see that cold column of air move through with it, but it's not looking promising. Still a good idea to use caution, and we're still likely to see that heavy rainfall as we head into your Monday night, Tuesday morning. We start to drop below freezing, so keep in mind, if you are out and about tomorrow morning, you are going to want to watch out for those bridges and overpasses. We will see a beautiful rest of your week, especially Valentine's Day. Temperatures are in the mid-50s.